There's a certain confidence needed to wear red and purple, two bold, clashing colors, together, not least when you're six months pregnant. The unusual combination was a favorite of Princess Diana, who wore a red bolero with a purple skirt by Catherine Walker and matching Philip Somerville hat, on a royal visit to Hong Kong in 1989. But in the three decades that followed, few dared copy her look. Step forward the ever-stylish Duchess of Sussex, who delighted fashionistas last month when she stepped out in a flowing, bum-hugging purple dress, paired with a scarlet red wrap coat. Her look certainly turned heads, but none more so than Bo Giannis and Tallers. For the 34-year-old fashion designer is the brains behind that red coat and during the royal couple's visit to Birkenhead, Wirral, the phones in her Toronto office were ringing off the hook. It was such a wonderful surprise, says Bo Yana, a glamorous blonde mother of two originally from Serbia. The coat is from my new collection, so it hadn't even been released yet. To have it unveiled by Meghan was a real honor. It's not the first time Meghan has worn a coat by Santeller, Bo Yana's eponymous fashion line, which celebrates its 10th anniversary this year. The fashion forward royal loans the same £1,067 design now dubbed the Megan, in three colors. She debuted it, in Army Green, while filming legal series Suits in Toronto, Canada, in 2016, and wore it a second time, in Chic Camel, on her first festive outing with the Royals as Sandringham, on Christmas Day 2017. Each time, despite the price, the coats, made from Peruvian alpaca pelt, have sold out, thanks to the Megan effect. The UK is our third largest market, after the US and Canada, the designer explains. Meghan has played a big role in that. She could wear anything, but makes a point of wearing brands from Canada, a country she called home for several years. Her style is unique. It's classic and timeless, but she adds a twist to every outfit. So powerful is Meghan's magic that this season Boyana attended London Fashion Week to show off her new collection and met with industry insiders to discuss opening her own shop in the capital. Currently, her only UK offering is in a small boutique near Bradford, Yorkshire, walkinstyle.co.uk, and, when we meet at a sleek London hotel, she's eager to make the most of her A-list endorsements. As well as the Duchess of Sussex, clients include the Duchess of Cambridge, who wore the £761 grey wrap coat in Canada in 2016, supermodel Gigi Hadid, who owns an ivory centaur coat, Sex and the City actress Kim Cattrall and Sophie Gregory Trudeau, wife of the Canadian Prime Minister. The brand has come a long way in ten years, when Boyana, who was travelling in Peru at the time, doodled designs for seven coats she dreamed of owning. Growing up in Serbia, I was brought up to value quality, she explains. It's common in Eastern Europe to save to buy one good quality piece, so I learned to recognize fine detail in fabrics. When we moved to Canada, I struggled to cope with the long, cold winters. They last nearly eight months and I couldn't find a stylish coat that would also keep me warm. Boyana studied marketing and finance before going into the beauty business, and in 2008 moved to Dubai to pursue a career in media. It was there, during an interview with the late Chanel designer Karl Lagerfeld, that she got the impetus she needed to start her own brand. I told him I wanted to be in fashion, but had no formal design experience, she explains. He said, quite bluntly, you either have it or you don't. And if you have it, go for it. The next year, Boyana spent six months in Lima, the Peruvian capital, where she came across the perfect fabric for her coats, alpaca pelt. The pelt is shorn from the Surrey and Huacaya alpaca. The shearing process, which is cruelty-free, takes place every two years and gives an essential source of income to farmers in the region. I fell in love with alpaca in Peru. It's hypoallergenic, lightweight but warm and has a natural softness. It feels like touching a cloud. Boyana, then 24, returned to Canada and launched Centaller in 2009. Today, as her design house goes from strength to strength, her work ethic hasn't dwindled. She's most creative at night, when her children, aged 2 and 5, 
are asleep, and can often be found sketching and researching in her home studio from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I keep a pen and paper by my bed because I wake up with ideas, she explains. Boyana's designs are flattering and feminine, but, as a working mother, she understands practicality, too. Her coats have spacious pockets, colors are dyed to complement skin tones and hair colors, and the lining is satin, not silk, so it doesn't crumple. And the fabric is water repellent, ideal for soggy British weather, and cinched at the waist with a belt to hug the figure in all the right places. There's even a patented centaur tie, a one-sided bow, which she encourages customers to use to fasten their coats. Megan has shown hers off several times, though on the recent outing she wore the coat open, revealing her bump. She's not wearing maternity clothing, she just styles regular clothing in a way that works, says Boyana. She and her team have a close relationship with Megan's stylist, believed to be her long-term friend Jessica Moroni, whom they continue to work with in Toronto. She has a sneak preview of new Centaur collections and selects pieces she thinks Meghan might like. As a royal, the Duchess must pay for every item out of the palace purse, in contrast to when she was lavished with gifts as an actress on the red carpet circuit. Boyana first met Meghan in 2016, when she visited the Centaur showroom in Canada. She has a genuine interest in fashion and likes to know every detail of what she's wearing. She's the same now. She hasn't changed a bit. She is inspirational and I know she'll be a great mum, she says. Boyana knows about juggling motherhood with a demanding job, she had her first blast of global publicity when the Duchess of Cambridge was seen in one of her coats, four days after the designer's daughter was born. I was doing press interviews while nursing my daughter, she laughs. But women today do it all, parenting, working, running their own businesses. That's the woman I design for.